Hello people, what is up? How's everything going with you guys? I hope you're well, I'm well. As you can tell from the, um, the title, a very important update with my car and possible changes with my car. So what's going on? First of all, some good news. Um, my car went in for an MOT and it had some error codes and as you know, as people may know, if you go into an, an MOT with error, error codes, it fails straight away. So I had to get it plugged in and the error codes taken away. So then when you go into the MOT system, it can pass the MOT. And yes, it passes the MOT, so that's good. I also had a full service because ever since I got my car, um, I think it was just, un just under a year ago, um, it's never it's never had a service. I didn't know it hadn't a service because technically when you buy a car surely it comes with a service But apparently it was an auction car which I found out about so um, Yeah, I've had that done. Um, it, so I've had a full service a full MLT and then I had um, an engine management system light come on oh. So I had it plugged in spent a few good few days I had to do different readings different days of to find out it was the two there was there was two sensors one there and one there between the catalytic converter and the exhaust they were coming up but there was but then we went they did a live reading apparently and it came up with something another error code so I found out it was actually something within the engine which was creating this there was something in the engine I think it was something some sink thing I think it was something to do with it was um some some things in the engine were out of sync, which basically made it use more fuel, and made it out made it not in quite in time, which create which created a um, which basically made the engine say, "Oh, I need more fuel," even though it didn't, and so it burnt more fuel, which made more smoke, which triggered these two um, these two sensors. So and it, and it ended up being a sensor for two fifty, or a sensor for a hundred quid. It could have been. Instead, this other this other daft sensor or something that, that controls the computer in the car basically told it um, that was that, that ended up being the problem, not those ones. It actually cost me only sixty quid, so that was a top stuff as well, which I thought was very good. And then also to, to make it even worse, um, I had about six months ago, wasn't it six months ago? Yeah, about six months ago, um, I had my or the I had. All the brakes throughout my car changed and a caliper changed so I had full brakes so I had perfect brakes um, so altogether I've spent about come up to 600 quid maybe maybe a little bit more to fix my car so one thing is always just when you when, when you go to buy a, um, a car make sure it's, if it's an auction car make sure you do your, your, um, your research because like mine you know it's it was a bit buggered, but I'm hoping it's fixed now. But what I am thinking about is, what car should I get next if I sell it? Should I get a Honda Civic? My brother's got one, so I don't know whether I should. There's, that, there's a video come up about that as well for my brother's Honda Civic. I'm going picking it up, so um, and showing it. So there's another video for you if you like the new Honda Civics. Um, so there that, a Golf. Um, an Audi, like an A3 or something, or should I keep my car? Put it in the description below, let me know what you think, tell me which one you reckon you go for and why. And because it's been such a nice thing, and I haven't had my car cleaned since November, yes, seven, nearly seven, eight months ago, because the winter came and then the rain came and all this crap, so I decided to treat my car, and treat myself, because why not, to look at it, as you can see on the cutaway pictures now, that um, it was kind of dirty, and uh, I, I noticed when I went shopping the other day. I thought, God, that's dirty. Oh, so I bet I went and do it. So I went to my mate um, who I work with, and doing extra work with. I went went to his um, his Arc um, car wash on Shaw Road in Oldham. Um, went on there um, and got it done, and they do a chassis clean. So I gave it a chassis clean, which was great. I get a wax, a full valet, and now. I shall probably see on a on the cut on a few more of the cutaways that it's actually really really clean. Looks mint. It looks amazing. So shout out to them. Shout out to Sam who's sorted me out with that. I'm appreciated. Um, what else can I say? 
What do you think of my, my car? Do you think I should keep it? Do you think I should sell it? Would you keep it? Would you sell it? It's 2010, 69,000, nearly 70,000 miles. Would you keep my car or would you get a newer one with less miles for the same price I could sell that one? Because there are some, some decent um, 12 plate Honda Civic um, with 40,000 miles from like that for five and a half grand. I can get about six grand for my car. So I could get a newer car with less miles, but it's a BMW. I want, I'm thinking I want to get a German car again because well, as we know, German ingenuity is is spot on. So, what would you what do you think? Tell me in the um, in the description below, and um, I hope you liked the um, the other videos I did, the motorbike videos I'm going to put up here and there in any time now. Um, I hope you like those. And um, thanks for the the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Great one, nice one. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe uh wait, subscribe down there i think it is press the subscribe button and notification bell to let you know when more stuff is coming it's going to get more motorbike um, um videos soon and obviously and obviously my brother's car video i'm going to put up there to show you what it's like and dig and decide with you what you think of it if i should get that or not but anyway thanks for letting continued support and i will see you all very very soon bye bye